guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the baby boy names. I I can't actually do I think I have ten baby names on this list. Also, welcome to Vlogmas Day. Oh, what day will this be? Vlogmas Day 16, I believe. Yeah, Vlogmas Day 16. Because the next video, which I've already filmed, is 17. So yeah, welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. I hope you guys have enjoyed Vlogmas so far. We're just over, we're obviously over halfway. Well, we were already halfway, but we're over halfway there now. And let's just not ramble on and let's just get into this video. Okay, so the first name on my list is Carson. I first heard of this name on NCIS. It was an episode where this boy who went missing years ago, blah, de, blah, de, blah, he obviously, well, he didn't go missing. Well, he did go missing from his grandma, but not from his dad, if that makes any sense. And, yeah, I just came across the name then, and when I was thinking of baby boy names to add into this list, I thought of Carson, and I thought how cute it is, and it's very versatile, and it, the child can go through ages. I'd like to point out in this list there are some more popular ones, some not so popular, but I thought I'd include a mixture because I usually always do unique and there because there are also some more common names on this list. But yeah, I do like the name Carson. The next name on my list is Harley. Obviously, you can think of Harley Quinn, who's a woman, but it's a unisex name. There was someone in my secondary school called Harley, and I believe he now goes to my college, but I never actually knew him. But yeah, Harley is just a really nice name. And actually, it was also um, in an episode of Ambulance. It was like the first episode or something. But yeah, it's just a very cute name. And it's one that a child slash person can grow up with. And obviously, it can be used for a girl's name as well. But I like it as a boy's. Next name on my list is Jensen. I know two people who either, well, I know, I technically know two Jensen's. I've met one and then there's one online. The first Jensen is my friend's foster brother. Yeah, my friend's foster brother. His name is Jensen. And then Lucy Jessica Carter has a son called Jensen. I think it's a very cute name, but again, it's a growable name. And you can't really get wrong with Jensen in what else can I say about baby names apart from they're cute, versatile, that sort of thing and they'd suit any boy no matter what they look no matter what they look like, no matter what their personality, it can be like an edgy name well not it can be for an edgy person, it can be for like a geeky person, but you get what I mean. The next name on my list is Freddie. Obviously Louis Tomlinson has was it like th two, three year old son? His name is Freddie, and obviously it's a very cute name. And yeah, obviously it's technically a shortened form of the name Frederick, but I don't like the name Frederick. It's too old fashioned for me. I I like the name Freddie, and I seem to like. I don't. I know this is typical of my girls' names, but I I seem to like names with like the e sound on the end or really because they're not not in this list but again for the girls names i seem to like that e sound on the end but freddie is soft but again you can grow he can grow with any boy any little boy at all if you really wanted use it for a girl because it's almost 2019 so who cares anymore. Next name on my list is Elijah. I like the J and like the J. I really think I love how that sounds, how it flows and all that sort of thing. And yeah, Elijah. It's just it's more of the uncommon ones. You won't hear of people being named that also. I'm sorry, it's starting to get a little bit dark. Well, it's darkening but yeah I just Elijah 
it's very pretty but very delicate but also obviously masculine and again grows with the person as they go from baby to grandpa or maybe not grandpa just old man because they might not want kids and that is all right next name on my list is reuben i first actually came across the name reuben because my sister's aunt has a friend who named her son reuben and i heard about it like years ago and i just think reuben is again a cute name i've not actually met anyone called reuben i'm obviously i've heard of that one person called reuben but i don't know anyone called reuben and i just think how cool how like yeah i just reuben isn't that like a bear from like a tv program called reuben i believe it is if there is i will try and leave it i will try and insert a picture around this area and yeah reuben is such a cutesy name have i really gone through these names quite quickly yeah i have next name on my list is nathan obviously again common there's like nathan massey he was love island one year didn't actually watch that season of love island i will point that one out but i think you can get love island on netflix so i might start watching that in january when i've got time because i've literally not been watching any netflix or at least hardly any at the moment because i've been so good i've been so busy with editing and filming and then college work but I broke up from college on Wednesday, so I've got Thursday and Friday to film. So, hopefully I can improve the content. Or at least film some content for January. Because to start with, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to be able to film reviews of the, of my presents straight away. So, yeah. But, back to the name Nathan. I've not met a Nathan, or at least I don't believe I have. Obviously it's a more common one and I don't know whether I'd use it. I do like the name though. I do like the name though. And again, gross with the person. The next name that's on my list is Azari with A-Z-A-R-I. Oh, something's happening. I saw blue lights. Not on my street though. Yeah. I think the name Azari is really pretty, it's pretty, but again, it's masculine, Azari, like, I've never met an Azari and I only came across this name, and I think it's like an old, old name or something that's like, not many people are naming their child anymore and it's like going to become extinct from people naming their child it, but I think Azari is a cute masculine name and again can grow with the child because I can think of a baby called Azari, a teenager called Azari, adult and older man so I really like the name. Next name on my list is Phoenix. This name was originally on my baby names list and it came off and then it's like possibility or at least it's not my main baby names list but phoenix obviously any harry potter fans you'll think of phoenix isn't like the phoenix yeah because phoenix is a bird my bum's really starting to hurt on the seat <laughs> but yeah uh, phoenix is just again edgy it's cool uncommon and again pretty much guaranteed that nobody in their class is going to be called Phoenix so why not take advantage and use the name now before it starts becoming popular and then the last name on my list is Wilder obviously it's like wild and you think of like a wild child but I guess you, you could also use it it might it also suit like a more academic I'm not saying academic, but more like a geeky person. 
yeah water <laughs> to be honest it would match my sister so much if she was a boy wilder she is literally wild she is crazy so yeah but wilder again i don't think it's common to the uk i think it's more common in the states but i do think given the chance it might become more popular and more mainstream than than, than names like jack and that sort of thing because Jack's obviously very, still very popular. Like, I've met quite a few Jacks during my time. <laughs> that makes me sound so old, but I'm not. I've just met so many Jacks so far. And it's like, I know I'm going to end up meeting more. So, yeah. But, I hope this video has been helpful for anyone expecting. By the way, I'm not expecting. Thought I'd clarify that right at the end of this